the marathon, quickly becoming one of the most popular sporting events in the world. People are spending thousands of dollars on running gear, like $300 super shoes, with the hopes that they will run a faster time. And today, I'm proving once again that Crocs are the ultimate shoe by beating my previous record. This is it, the moment of truth. Over 25,000 people are here to see what they're made of. What are you racing in? Oh, those are vapor flies. Vapor flies? I, I got the Crocs. Extra boost. <laughs> I get a little, little extra boost. You got some alpha flies, yeah, man. Alpha. What do you think of the Crocs? Dude. They're great. They're undefeated, great. right? Yeah, undefeated. Too easy. Too easy. Let's get it. And as I looked around at everyone else's super shoes, I'm not going to lie. I was getting pretty nervous. What do you think of the Crocs? <laughs> yeah, for the marathon. I wouldn't recommend them. Wouldn't recommend? Dang. All right. Fair. And with those encouraging words, it was just me, these Crocs, and a record to beat. Here we go, baby. Start of the race. Crocs marathon round two. Let's see what we got. Let's get this bread, baby. Too easy. Even though I'm pretty sure I'm the only person who has faith in these Crocs, there is no going back at this point. Just started. I'm nervous, guys. This race has a significant amount more hills than Chicago. This marathon has over 1,500 feet of gain, making the course significantly more difficult than the last time I attempted this in Chicago. Beating this record is gonna take every ounce of willpower. About uh, three quarters of a mile in. I got a lot of work to do. We gotta shave off some time, folks. Yeah, it didn't help that I was starting quite a bit behind where I'd like to be, but uh, hey, <laughs> it's just another part of the challenge, right? Nearly mile two. Feeling really good, feeling chill. We got this nice downhill. But we also have a massive hill to climb right after. <sighs> Brother, it's gonna be hard. Mile two, our second hill. Honestly, I didn't feel so bad. The thing about marathons is that almost everyone feels good at mile two. The real test is how I'm gonna feel in 20 miles. It's probably about time I let you guys in on the game plan. In the last marathon, I went out a little fast and I had a hard time catching myself at the end. So here we are, a year and a half later, and my strategy, my game plan, is to go out running 6.55 for the first half. And then by mile 20, if I'm feeling epic, then I cut down to like some 6.40s. And we really shave some time off. However, this is all dependent on how my legs feel halfway. It didn't take long for the people to start noticing my brilliant choice of shoes. Oh, we're in Crocs. I think I love that. What do you think? You think I could break a 312? I think you're absolutely fast. Dude, the Crocs are fast, right? All joking aside, the Crocs were feeling pretty dang good. Let's go. Too easy, baby. There you go. My strategy for water and hydration is basically get it at every stop because you can't come back from dehydration. Massive battles to get dehydrated. Feeling good. Almost mile four. The Too Easy Army was out in numbers at this race. What's your name? Angel. Let's go, baby. What's your name? David. David, what are we running in? Ah, uh, Saucony. Saucony's. What do you think of the Crocs? I like them. They're fast as heck. You put them in sport mode, they go faster than the speed of light. At this point, the miles were just flying by. I was absolutely locked in. I just passed mile four. This is also where I start my nutrition. We're going to be taking one of these every four miles. Got to get those calories in so we can keep that energy up. Mile five, baby. This is where I feel like on the marathon, it's where I settle in. Got a good pace. Bikes feel okay. We're good. Oh, brother, the Alpha Plus. Those are my all time favorite. Oh, yeah. Good shoe. I forgot mine. I had to run in the Crocs. Got the four by four. Oh, yeah. We got them locked and loaded. Have a good race, my man. Right on target, baby. Right on target. Feeling good. Thank you, sir. Absolute legend. Doing pretty good. Heart rate's kind of high, but hope I can hold the space. Most races, my heart rate is elevated slightly, but it's uh, somewhat concerning when it's pushing 170, and I'm only at mile 10. My favorite thing about running, there's like no entry point. Running's for everybody, baby. You don't need a super shoe. You don't need to spend $300. Get the Crocs out. And before I knew it, I was at the halfway mark. 706 pace. If I can maintain this, we are way ahead of schedule in a great way. Taking some caffeine. Hopefully, pump through my veins. I'm gonna need it. Oh, baby. Spoiler alert, this stuff tastes terrible. What does that say? I'm oh, yes, yes, yes. Woo! I gotta tell you about Shopify. They're sponsoring this video. Listen, not too many people are doing ad reads at mile 13 of a marathon, but I'm not too many people. I'm running a marathon in Crocs. And Shopify is not just some other company. Running a business is a whole lot like running a marathon. It's pretty hard when you start, but when you partner with a company like Shopify, it gets a heck of a lot easier. Ever since I was a teenager and saw my parents start a business, I wanted to be an entrepreneur. And Shopify not only makes it incredibly easy to start a business, they help you grow your business. Heck, they power some of the biggest brands 
on the planet. I've personally used Shopify to launch two of my own products in the past, my Too Easy hoodie and the Too Easy button. Launching a product can be super intimidating, like launching a website, shipping, the list goes on. But Shopify makes it too easy, pun intended. If you want to start a business, there's really only one option. Go to shopify.com slash Isaiah photo and start your free trial. Start growing that business that you always dreamed about or scan the QR code or the link in the description. Thank you so much Shopify for sponsoring this video. We got some miles to get, let's get them. Just past mile 15, we're holding pace comfortably. However, I wanna protect myself from future cramping. I just took a switchback pack. It has a thousand milligrams of Himalayan salt. This salt is very important to keep me from cramping in the future. Mile 18, 19, 20, things can get dicey. Slowing down slightly, but we should be okay. Definitely starting to feel those little cramps setting in. This is my last normal Morton. Then I got some caffeine to finish us off at mile 20. Let's go, guys. Yeah. Woo. Oh, way to go. Let's get Let's it. Go. Traditionally, this is where the race starts to get tough for me, and making sure I don't cramp up is essential. All right, just past mile 18. This is where I cramp up, and things go to crazy downhill. But I planned for this, remember? That's why I ran slow. I feel a little bit of cramping setting in. However, the salt is still doing its thing. I have one more caffeine gel that I'm gonna take at mile 20 and then just hang on for dear life. I was also slightly concerned about potential injuries like a fracture. At this point, it definitely feels like a hammer at the bottom of my feet. These things are so thin. Keep in mind, they've already done a marathon, so the tread is low. Unbelievably, even with the hills, I'm somehow holding pace at 18 miles with the potential of setting a new record. Just a few miles left, and that record is mine for the taking. Mile 20, baby. I'm strong. <coughs> Struggling, baby. I can do this. Mind over matter. You can do anything you set your mind to. And this, folks, is where you gotta enter the pain cave. This is where stuff gets real. It's just you, your freaking mind, your body, and the race. You just have to push. You have to tell your body it's possible, baby. Because anything's possible with the power of the mind. I believe that. I believe that. I'm gonna do this. <laughs> uh, one last tail to climb. Final gel, caffeine. Tastes terrible, let's get it. I thought that this would be so much easier now that I'm in better shape, but the marathon has a way of beating you down. And I was dangerously close to the previous race time. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. Starting to feel like I maybe broke something in my left foot. Not great, not great at all. Uh, the pain is a tremendous, tremendous pain. Frick, gotta keep going, baby. Thankfully, there was this station that sprayed your legs for pain relief. Pain relief, let's go, let's go. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we need it. Thank you. Beautiful pain relief section, love to see it. I have no idea what that is. I could've just totally wrecked my race. <laughs> Unfortunately, it, uh, it basically did nothing for me. Hey, it was worth a try. I'm suffering. It hurts. Woo! Oh, you gotta love the pain. You gotta dig deep. Woo! Sometimes you just gotta be your own hype man. Woo! Woo! Mile 25, cutting it just razor, razor sharp. So close. I literally have 12 minutes to beat this time and a mile and a quarter. There is no time to spare. Everything hurts. I feel like I've broken my foot. I feel like I've broken my freaking Achilles on both legs. My quads are done. My hamstrings. Ah! This is it. This is where pedal to the metal. You gotta decide how this race is gonna go, baby. Woo! This applies to everything in life. When it gets hard, you gotta hammer down. You gotta push harder. Whew. Too easy, baby. Too easy, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on, Isaiah. Too easy. Let's get it. Woo! So close. Let's go, baby! I need some power. You got it, you got let's it. get it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 26, quarter mile left. I can see the finish line, baby. Oh, there is nothing more beautiful than the finish line after 26.2. Let's freaking go! Too easy! And just like that, I cross the finish line with a new personal record. Too easy. Too easy. Just like that.
like that. Let's get it. Official time, three hours, nine minutes, and 34 seconds. Smashing my personal best in the Crocs and making the Crocs still undefeated as the non-super shoe of choice, according to the list. You guys, comment down below which shoe I should do next. Dare I say, go for the world record. Don't tease me. Too easy, baby. Too easy.